when we think about delivering information technology services to uh, our customers, uh, we uh, need to have a model for understanding what our customers are looking for and how uh, the life cycle of a customer uh, can be incorporated into the way we uh, serve them. Blake Ives, a professor here at the University of Houston, uh, an early innovator in the use of uh, IT in the, in the business world, created a model called the customer service life cycle, which helps us understand what customers want as they uh, use products over time and uh, what they might look for in an information-based product. The customer service life cycle has four phases. The, the first phase of the life cycle uh, is a requirements definition. Uh, what's, what's the product do? Uh, do I need one? Uh, do I want one? Uh, which one do I want? And how many of them do I want? In other words, it has to be tangible. And the second part of the life cycle is where can I get it and how much is it going to cost and and uh, when can I get it delivered and this is the acquisition decision so we go from requirements to acquisition to ownership how do I use it and how do I fix it in other words once I've got it uh, the my relationship with the product changes I now am an owner of it and the decisions I make the questions I have are, are different and finally uh, I, I get to the point where I'm looking at retirement. How much am I spending on this product or service? Is there a new one? How can I return it? Uh, do I want another one? Would I recommend this to someone else? And as we as we look at all four uh, phases of the life cycle, we might take a look at the Encyclopedia Britannica case where we we go through the requirements of uh, you know what you know what is it I need an encyclopedia how do I get it a door to door salesman maybe uh, when I when I own it what do I do with it it's a big you know big thing takes a bookcase uh, in retirement am I every year I have to buy an update uh, you know how much am I spending on it uh, and a new product or service, particularly an information systems based product, can disrupt this whole thing. They can uh, they can make the uh, acquisition decision much different. So I might look at Wikipedia as a way of disrupting the uh, customer service life cycle and uh, and getting uh, a product changed from one place to another. As I look at the, the life cycle in terms of the way technology moves through organizations, our customers, our internal customers, react much the same way. They decide whether they want to use a tool or not, what happens after they started using it, and how do they stop using it. And the customer service life cycle has shown itself to be a very popular way of understanding the use of an information systems based tool in a company. We, com we combine this, uh, this life cycle with other tools uh, associated with the diffusion of innovation and the product life cycle and we've, we've started getting a pretty complete picture of both the product, the service, and the way the innovation is diffused through an organization.